Good afternoon, family. Watchwoman 65, Lisa Boyce here, and I have an update. Um, excuse me, <clears throat> an update. And I thought I would give you this because I have an appointment later on and I'm not going to be here. So um, I'm going to leave the link of this in the uh, description box. It says Turkey now technically at war with Russia and Syria. This came out yesterday. And I gave you a little bit of a article on it, but this is off of um, um, Shiva, the Israeli news. It says, a week after Israel National News reported that Turkey was on a crash course with Russia over Syria, the parties are now at war, technically speaking. It says this happened after talks between Turkish delegation and the Kremlin in Moscow about the worsening crisis in northeast Syria and the imminent threat of a new Turkish invasion in Syria over Eblib province, which is home to a range of Sunni Isla Islamists supported by Turkey, broke down. The Turkey-backed Islamist militias in Idlib are on the verge of defeat after the Iranian-Russian-backed pro-Assad coalition rapidly advanced in the latest rebel stronghold and even surrounded Turkish observation posts, which were set up to monitor a 2018 de-escalation agreement between Russia and Turkey that failed miserably. I remember that. After the new talks between Russia and Turkey broke down, Turkish uh, leader Erdogan threatened to launch a new incursion into Syria, a promise he kept this time around. If the countries that we are in negotiations with do not do what needs to be done in Eblib, then we will do it ourselves. For the time being, we do not see the result that we want from these talks. We are fully prepared from our own operation in Eplib. It's only a matter of time. We can start at any moment. This is a vital operation for us, Enderwan said on Wednesday. Now, I read a little bit of this yesterday, but this is coming out. This is kind of big because this is coming out on the news sources as well. And I have something else, too, that I'm going to come back on later. Wow, that I'm going to come out later with. On Thursday, the Turkish troops with heavy weapons entered in northern uh, Etlib in Turkey uh, as Turkish artillery heavily shelled Syrian army positions while the Russian Air Force bombed Turkish positions in the same region. This is big. This is real big. I'm going to, um, this got my attention a little bit this morning. It says, um, Turkey's recent overtures to Moscow resulted in the sale of the Russian S-40 missile and anti-aircraft shield, but they haven't become operational yet. Yet. They plan on it, but not yet. But I'm going to leave the article in the description box and I'm going to come back later today when I come back from my appointment with this news article that says Israel fears that the uh, European Union members um, states to set states set to recognize Palestine. I just found that just came out today. But I'm going to come back later with that when I come back. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to leave that article in the description box so you can read that. But I have to leave right now. So in the meantime, have a nice afternoon. Thank you.